Somebody, we used to say masticate, and it would make me go, hee hee. <laughs> Why? Because you masticate? Yeah, man. I'm a masticator. <laughs> I'm so Adam funny. Sandler. That's my favorite word. <laughs> okay, Adam Sandler, calm down. <laughs> That's it. That's his whole joke. <laughs> I'm Adam Sandler's friend. <laughs> Which one? The one with the cross eye. <laughs> we we made that joke for a different opening, for a different episode of the podcast. We cannot keep doing this, guys. Yeah. What's what's the deal with Kyoto Animation and guys, girls named Jui? What's the deal? <laughs> <laughs> we cannot. I they, mean, I can't watch any anime without Yui. So- We've run out of material. We've run out of jokes to make. This po- this third season is a sham. There's nothing. No. This is gonna be copyright claim. Final. I'm crying. We are having. We're, there's going to be no original jokes in this whole season. No. Nope. It's gonna Did be rehash. It? This is like this is, this is the Dragon Ball Super of our podcast. <laughs> yes. We're just rehashing the old ideas. How would you feel if I did the whole episode like this? I I would I would go along with it. No, you wouldn't. You fucking liar. <laughs> you piece of shit asshole. Don't lie to my face like that. Tony <laughs> Armin would never say something like that. <laughs> 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 I just said, fuck you. You know what I hated huh? during the Chunit exams? What? S- Sasuke's hair when he comes back. <laughs> I was just like, why is it so damn long? Got a damn haircut, boy. Jeez. Jeez, <laughs> I boy. It. Jeez, you're not even looking I'll that fresh anymore. I'll tell you what, boy. <laughs> Sasuke, Sasuke, I t- Sasuke, I'll tell you what. If you come to this house and you come with that hair, I'm gonna cut it right now. <laughs> Kakashi. I don't care. <laughs> Sasuke, I'm going to cut it right now. You sit down there. I'll get out my knife and I'll cut it. <laughs> Too bad there aren't any other kid characters I can remember. There aren't any other. It's only one. <laughs> no, it's okay. It's me, Naruto. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Dad, I want to help believe it. <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's me, Rock Lee. You know, I'm just over here now. Just hang, hang out, you know, like, doing karate. Oh, no, no, I can't oh. find no more. Oh my god, fucking Bobby saying believe it, holy shit. <laughs> it sounds like Marge saying believe it too. <laughs> oh me, believe it. <laughs> this isn't even a Naruto show, this is gonna be the opening. <laughs> we did it. Listen, everybody loves Naruto, right? No, that's I don't no. even love Naruto anymore. <laughs> Fuck you. I don't I don't I can't believe you. I'm you upset. can't believe me? Well, you better believe it. <laughs> believe it! Welcome to the Literary Club. We can't read that good, but we try. The one sitting in the corner, really just looking at those book spines, well, that's garb. Hey, the words are on the screen. That counts right. <laughs> the the one who's sitting... <laughs> <laughs> the one sitting at the chair, reading One Piece again, well, that's Pino. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I'm, I was I was too busy. I'm reading I'm, I'm reading one piece. What arc? Have you, have you heard of it? Have you heard of it? <laughs> yeah, we've heard of it. Okay, okay. you keep okay. talking about it. No, no, I, I, no I, I'm, yeah, okay. I'm, Just, I'm, and I am the great president of this this great club. Wait, who My said you were Chuck. great? Hey, who who, who died of a Julie? <laughs> <Sensei. laughs> 
Who's your sensei? <laughs> Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Whoa. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> Whoa, I didn't like where that went. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm going to put my One Piece book down right now. <laughs> welcome. Ew, uh, welcome take it to easy. the first episode of the third season of the Funky Anime Podcast. Hey, we did it. We We're did knocking the, the door down. You we know what they it. say about third seasons. We're it's busting bad. doors. We're busting nuts. Busting a nut harder than ever before. <laughs> I didn't like that one either, Pino. What do they say about the third season? Well, it's either gonna be rushed. Or it's gonna be great. Let's see what. Let's see what. Let's see. Uh, let's see what's going on now. As you can see, it's going in the wrong direction now. <laughs> <laughs> Woohoo! We're doing great, guys. Welcome to the Fuck Yeah Bay Podcast. Dude, welcome. We are here for the third season, but it doesn't really matter if you didn't watch the first two seasons because... No, you have to watch everything. You um, have including to? Including the fillers. Even the filler. Even, Not even the, the filler. filler isn't canon, And though. the most, no, the know. most important part is update number one, okay? Update number one. We're hoping for update number two sometime in the future. We're waiting for it. <laughs> it almost happens. <laughs> it almost happened today, but... <clears throat> But Pino like, pulled himself out of the grave to record this episode. So if you hear him dying, he's dying. I'm dying. It's for real. I'm That's, sick. So yeah. he's diseased. Yeah, he's, he's but he's got a let, yomu. He's happy. Let the record state. Let the record show. This is not the sissy flu again. This is not the <laughs> sissy flu. Are you sure? Once you, it wasn't once the sissy you, flu? Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure. Only two people in this room have gotten the sissy flu, and none of them are actually in this room. <laughs> Which means it's it's the people across from the across the way. Oh, across you've the never way. gotten the sissy flu. Who lives flu? across the street? I haven't gotten the sissy flu. You That's know, a lie. You, you have accused you're, me of getting the sissy flu. Have you watched me Nibis? I did. You that doesn't count because the sissy, sissy flu was not diagnosed at that time. <laughs> I diagnosed it. I no. retroactively diagnosed you being no, no, a no. B- sissy bitch. No. Whoa. <laughs> okay. See. First thing, it's called sissy flu. No, okay. you're a sissy bitch. That's what uh, no. people get the sissy flu, they become a sissy bitch. Okay, so ah. okay, I'm gonna write that down. Yeah, that's that's lore. Put that on the wiki. It's like how a. Never mind. Chuck sucks. Okay, cool. Ah! Enter ten. <laughs> no! Guys, Control this time, S. <laughs> guys, this time we watched Beyond the Boundary. Is oh, dude, it, I love that YouTube channel. I <laughs> get the joke hey, out of the way. We didn't. We didn't make get that joke. joke. Get yeah, the joke yeah, out of the way. Woo. We're done. Woo-hoo. I mean, okay. Well, yeah, we're done for now. <laughs> I'm going to be upset every time that's brought up. Beyond the Boundary. <laughs> it was a good show. It premiered fall 2013. Whoa! Wow, really? Yeah, that's cool. an old show. I didn't know it was that old. And it was made by Kyoto Animation, so we know how much. <laughs> I'm dying. That how good Kyoto hey, animation that's my job. is. Huh? Yeah, we do. It's been a, we watched a couple of them last season, and we, I think we, one the first season, right? Well, we watched K-On. We watched. Okay. Um, we watched uh, Silent, Silent Voice. Voice. Uh, we've watched K-On. We watched Nietzsche Joe. We, we watched Dragon Maid. That was Kyoto too. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That's cool. They've, and they've that's, that's really all we've stuff. watched for. Uh, so far, because we're definitely going to watch more this season. I can. So we're starting off strong, I see. I can promise you right now there's going to be at least one more Kyoto Animation show we watch, I think. And just wait until they make more stuff. <laughs> just, wait, just, guys, just wait until they continue making things. Crazy yeah. how that works. Yeah, dude. Wow. Wow. It's almost like we like them. Now, hit me with that info dump, please. Guys, have you heard of this show before? No. No. Oh. <laughs> I, I I hadn't even seen the OP or ED, and they're, they're really good, so it's surprising that I had not. This is good. What about you, Pine Yacht? So, I've actually seen screens of um, the main girl, Mirai um, yeah. Kuriyama, uh, sc- flying across the internet for many years. Yeah. And I was always wondering, why is this girl so sad looking? And then, why does this girl have blood on her hands? And I said, why does she have a giant red sword? I had so many questions, but I never had the impulse to just look, look it, it up. <laughs> but hey, there's a first time for everything. And, uh, you know, it's pretty good because uh, I've been meaning to watch it for ages now. And what is it, 2020 now? I think I've. It is 2020. Congratulations. That's how oh, years work. Yeah, it's like, uh, you know what? I'm going to leave. <laughs> that was Uh-oh. awfully rude of you. Welcome back. Old. 
Pineo 3.0. We got an okay. old man. No, how could I be old? I'm Pino 3.0. Come on. If we didn't update you since Pino mm -hmm. 1.0, you're the same man. You've never I changed. I can't believe it. Dubs are better than subs. No! <laughs> never mind. Uh, upgrade him. <laughs> <laughs> In the next couple of minutes, they decided to upgrade him. <laughs> <laughs> we have now returned <laughs> to the Bucky Die. Anime podcast. We kept him on Windows 7 as long as we could. And then they messed up the background, so then we had to change it. <laughs> no. The backgrounds are important, dude. Just, they just are. Wait. Just wait. Guys, this is beyond the boundary. It's very good. I... Watched it with uh, my girlfriend, Joan, uh, over a year ago at this point. It was a while ago. Wow. And now I'm like, you know what? Start of the new season. Start of the new... I think it was maybe over two years ago. I don't know. I can't fucking read. I don't know what math is. Wait, um, why are we at a literary club? A I told you we can't... Club. I told you no, we can't no, read... No, it's the I, illiteracy club. I, <laughs> oh. See, the thing is we can't read it, so we just say it's the literary club. Um... <laughs> But so beyond the boundary, I watched with uh, with her, and now I've watched it again with the, her, and it was good. So let's just kind of yeah, she just slap into the show, shall we? Wow, that's should not we, good. Should we warn about spoilers beforehand? Yeah, fucking watch the show, <laughs> asshole. <laughs> if Whoa, you're, okay. If you're here, very, you, very, very abrasive this season. If, I see. <laughs> this is this is the season of being aggressively. Positive about shows. <laughs> mm. Okay, about shows. Okay, you what? You got me there. All right, assholes, watch it. <laughs> <laughs> um. So yeah, let's let's just kind of jump right into it, shall we? Yeah, oh. let's go. Yeah, guys, dude. let's talk about that dank animation first. Mm. Kyoto animation. Mm. It's very good. So good. There was, there was only a couple parts where I was like, okay, why are you giving me stills along with really high-quality animation? But for I the most part, that. That, that was only like one or two times. Okay. And the rest of it, fantastic. It wasn't as impressive as like k -On because k -On, you see them playing instruments, and that's like really, really good. This is more like Dragon Maid, you know, yeah. a little more chill, a little more... <laughs> Well, not well, more chill, more so just, like, not, there's not as yeah. as many up-close-and-personal shots of hands. <laughs> what do you mean? And, we, we, we're we not, we're not, what are you guys, Yoshikage Kira? Kira? Mm, I there's saw also, the Mona Lisa when I was seven, and then... I saw K-On when I was two. I got a boner. <laughs> oh, no. I hope Yoshikage Kira didn't get one with K-On. That's... Please, uh, no. He would, no. please, no. knowing him, Kira. I'm sorry. Please, Kira, do not. Well, technically, Kira, Kira, when he died and existed, it was 1999, so he wasn't around. Oh, thank goodness. He well, probably, what a bizarre summer, guys. He probably hey, J-O'd to, like... Whoa. <laughs> like, Steve Evangelion or something. <laughs> what? Pino, what? Steve... <laughs> J-O, you know, that's the first letters of his name. No, no! What? Yeah. J.O.? I told you I'm not in a good place right now. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I'm, I'm so I drink some more water. When did you, <laughs> your, Stay brain, hydrated. your brain is a fascinating thing, Pino. <laughs> you guys didn't install me correctly. Come on. What, oh, when shit, do we get you know to rip open Pino's head and look at his <laughs> wrinkly brain? <laughs> it's actually going to be a soft one. So it's, not, it's not wrinkly, it's, it's all soft. It's actually smooth. very smooth. It's an orb inside of his head. <laughs> yes. That's it. But. The other I'm, gonna, battery. Huh? I'm just going to finish up real quick and say that there okay. was a there lot more Smooth action brain. than a lot more Kyoani shows, and yeah. that was pretty cool. Yeah, it's you don't you don't really get it that much with most of Kyoto Animation stuff. I know more recently they've been branching out like Violet Evergarden's a little bit more so uh, <laughs> against their too? normal ways. Yeah. Fuck. Well, because they, they, their bread and butter is slice of life, mm -hmm. like through and through, but then... Well, also, they did, like, the second season of Full Metal Panic, and that's a little bit more action-y. <laughs> and recently, with, like, things like Free, which I've talked about on this podcast before, um, that uh, they're really, like, stretching out their, like, their creative muscles, and I like that because they're very good at literally everything that they do. So, I just think, like, though, 
the good thing though is when when you when you go watch anything um Kyo related um you always get the wonderful colors the wonderful backgrounds which is what we did mm-hmm. get to see here at least with the um oh, the animation yes. and whatnot every scene i feel like was was nice and fluid at least for my for my taste um yes. everything was proportional i like i like yeah. all the um i like even the the scenes of um I, I'll call them scenes of trippiness because I can't think of the word right now. But when they're um, when they're in like alternate dimensions, uh, so yeah. quote unquote, those are very nice. In, and inside the hollow and animated shadow, pretty well. was yeah, super there we good. Go. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of those um, more mystis, mystis, mystifying mystical? elements. Thank you, mystical elements were. I'm, were I'm just very here to be them. Pino's like crutch <laughs> in this episode. Thank you. Um, but yeah, but it was no. very well done. It's so nice. I um, I didn't write too many notes down, but like the backgrounds. Oh my goodness, Kyoto Animation always does so good backgrounds. And one of the really good things about this show is that there's a pretty good variation of locations, which is super nice because there's some forest shots, there's school, there's like just like outlook. There's a lot of different areas that these people go. And then, and if I can add, there's even the same areas, but just with the with the added seasonal changes. Yes. Um, snow oh. and, and sun, sunset, sunrises, rain, which is really nice to see. Again, like, as long as it, you're coming back to the same areas, but it looks new or different, that's uh, I appreciate that. You know? And yeah. even in the later half, or not later half, in some of the last couple episodes, they use the season as the setting to really portray the different yeah. sort oh, of dimensions yeah. they were in. Time dimension? Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was confusing. Yeah. And the whatever. Yomu. They yeah. were the Yomu. But yeah. yeah, no, that's super, super good. I really yeah. loved the uh, seasons was a really big thing that I actually hadn't thought of that much. But like, they used winter, they used some fall, mm-hmm. like very loosely a little bit of fall. And they used yeah. a lot of like spring slash summer vibes as well. So like, it's just so nice. Yeah. It's so yeah. good. Well, and they used the whole theme of blooming in the yeah. little the little section where they went to the festival. So mm-hmm. yeah, they they really you know used every element they could make something. You know, it's it's very background. good. I enjoy the show. <laughs> you know, um, I, I can't what? even like joke at you for complimenting the backgrounds on this one because even I was like, oh my goodness. Right? Yeah. It's oh, it's a it's so good. Blood also felt very bloody, which is good. Sometimes yeah. blood feels a little stagnant or uh, a little bit cheesy looking, but this one had it had rhythm to it. Like it's it's weird to say rhythm, but it has like it had the I don't know, it, had, it felt like it had the consistency of blood, yeah. especially when um when on on Mirai and um you know, coming out and then freezing in place. I feel like those color choices for yeah. blood was very good. It's very nice. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. pretty good looking. It's pretty sexy. Um. Huh? Sure. <laughs> if you say so, buddy. I don't. I don't know. That's no. not the word I would use. But yeah. No, I look sexy. You accuse this me of being sexy. Dracula. I think. Uh, I'm Alucard. Got... Just look uh, in the mirror, Pino. I'm you. Uh, oh, I see. But backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you, but from the southern hemisphere. Ah, uh, aren't I from the southern hemisphere? No. Yeah, wait a second. Wait a second. Something's not adding up here. I'm from Antarctica. Ah, the the deep south. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, do you, yes, do you I am imagine? from the deep south. He comes from the land down under. <laughs> really down under. Yeah, um, <clears throat> where penguins grow. They grow. They grow. They put them in yeah. the ground. Yeah, you, you <laughs> gotta Pick water them. them. They go whack, and then they come out. <laughs> He's like, "What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing to me?" Um. But before we get too off topic, uh, let's talk about that. Uh, those voice acting. Did we all watch the sub? Pine, did you I watch thought the there dub? was only sub. Nobody there was told a, me there, there was, was a dub. A, there was a dub. I didn't. <gasps> you you watch lied. The dub. You lied. I didn't lie. I had to pay attention. You lied. <laughs> I didn't lie at all. How dare you? I never I said the there wasn't. I knew the movies were dubbed. I just, I, I just told you to who watch dubbed? the sub. I don't know who, who dubbed? actually dubbed. I think See, Sentai. Who, Sentai. Sentai film work. Hentai. I think. Don't you? <laughs> they did say that word a lot. So they did. They well because it means pervert. Yeah. Yeah. Don't and they pervert. say that word a lot. Pervert. pervert. Well, I would have liked to have at least heard the dub myself. I I don't like it, <laughs> but I've also, I'm also very much critical when it comes to shows that I've seen before, subbed, 
moving into dubbed uh, and the other way around. So oh, I love hearing um, how they all sound in different languages. It's it's not a it's not a guilty pleasure. It's more of a guilty treasure. Oh, it's no. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. I stole it from uh, the podcast. It's more of a. Uh, I love seeing the different perspectives of. Um, how they how they how they manage to either you know either they can sometimes elevate their original source material or, or bring it down as, as we've seen in many cases in the past yeah. which is uh, I, more often than not <laughs> yeah no from what I've heard it's passable but I don't think it matches as much as the original sub does mm. I'd like to find one a clip though I'll well you can go you can look after. it up and talk about miscellaneous oh yeah. But for oh, the but, su- for for the sub, oh, so good. There yeah, were no characters like, that I was like, "This is a bad." Right. I think I recognized Mariah's voice voice actor, but I I might be mistaken. Um, Let me Mariah check here. did high school DxD. They ah, did. see, that's a show I did not watch. Ha <laughs> ha! Pulled uh-huh. your leg there. I can't believe Fooled you yanked my chain. Fooled you. I'm no hentai. They were in Zombie Land <laughs> Saga. I don't think you watched that. I did um, not. No game, no life. It was the oh, queen. What was she? For the queen, yeah. Uh, the queen. I mean, that's that's something she's familiar, but it doesn't, you know, doesn't stick out. Yeah, no, I don't Let's think see. she's she's not in too many like super recognizable shows. She was in Cyborg 009, but that doesn't mean much. To uh, I guess they else. all just they all just blend together. No, I'm a blender. Oh, she was um in uh, Shigeki no Soma. She was uh, the main girl. Who? Right, uh, Arina Naria Na- Nakiri. Good work, right? team. Mirai. Ah, that's who she is. Okay, Strike uh, the Blood. Okay. That's where I recognized her voice from. See, I would I watched that anime, and it's it's essentially the same thing, but worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, but no, that that was uh, not really worse. But it's more a, uh, fan service. But um, are, yeah, okay, I recognized her voice actress. I I, I yes. thought I did. I just wanted I always, to make sure. I always have to look for like all of the uh, shows. Um, that like oh who does a JoJo voice act like does uh, a JoJo and Hiromi's voice actor does um prosciutto 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 you mean in, the spaghetti uh, yeah in JoJo part five you could tell oh. because his name's somewhat Italian oh. <laughs> and he's also he's also Mario prosciutto <laughs> um he's also hey blonde. Luigi where's my prosciutto <laughs> fuck you Luigi <laughs> he's also Well oh, you uh, gotta be like that, Mario. <laughs> he's also Bon in uh Seven Deadly Sins, which is a good show up to the end, and then they Ooh, forget oof. to animate it. Um mm, I, and then mm. Baka Two Test, he was also uh Yuji. Oh, oh. And, ah, six Red Boy. Show. Yes. I think we watched that one. Maybe. Oh, maybe. No. Main guy was Seco I won't tell. from uh, part five. Yeah, I like Prosecco. Spaghetti. Don't mock me. Guys, we're losing our Spaghetti. minds here. <laughs> Super Mario in Are real bro- life. Jojo Super Mario, Mario Brothers. <laughs> Lots of spaghetti. Okay. God, I can't believe that video. It's I love that video. Guys, let's talk about that OST on how good it is. Oh, yeah, Jesus fantastic. Christ, it's Dude, so the, good. The, the battle there's music. That, oh, yeah. That one there's that one track with the with the vocals. That's the um it's the best one. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. Yeah, I don't know how it goes. <laughs> I would never tell him. But All right, podcast. <laughs> guys, don't tell him. We've finished the podcast. I can't believe it. Like, there's wow. one of the things that is like the best is that there are a couple of tracks where you have like choirs behind this music, and it's just like haunting and perfect, and I love it. Especially, Frightic. especially the next episode theme where it goes, yeah, like that. If you that's put it over one. the original one, that's what it sounds like. Exactly Ooh, like that. That's it. And man, there's so many just like good songs and so many sad songs. And I'm just like, time to be sad! And that's what happens. Because I'm a and sad there's bitch. some songs that are like, yeah! You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know? Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, it's so Dude, good though. I'm... <laughs> yeah, and yeah. also, uh, yeah. one one more spoiler warning before we talk about it. But freaking the idol song, 
that they just do on episode six is pretty good. It's, but it's good. I'm just saying. I'm just saying an idol, just like a random idol song in the middle of your regularly scheduled program. Pretty good. Yeah, it, it's gonna hold me off until the next Love Live. <laughs> Dude, that was the thing is that when we were watching, I was complaining about like, man. I just want to watch Love Live. Why do they have to tease this <laughs> fake idol shit? From well, there me? might, there might Gotta be, be, there might be Love Live in our future. It's in the knows? forecast. It's in the forecast in the next several months, perhaps. <laughs> if Pino rubs his knee the right way, he'll predict it. Oh, my knees are. <laughs> no, no. <gasps> that means we're gonna watch Love Live. <gasps> Crunch. Oh, they broke. Oh no! Crunchy <laughs> legs. Nobody likes crunchy legs. Oh, my chicken wings are now broken. Uh oh, I don't know what that means. I'm eating chicken. That could be foreboding. Oh no, you're just hungry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it smells like chicken legs. Oh, because you were eating them. Ah, yes, that explains um, everything. So let's, since we've talked about the OST and chickens quite enough, um, chickens. <laughs> no, where you are the chicken? The frying pan. I don't you eat didn't. Gold. Guys, yeah. if you didn't watch the filler, f remember, it's not canon, so this isn't actually from the filler. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about that fucking opening, dude. Oh, let's, oh yeah, let's man. Talk let's talk about... Let's dissect it. Kyokai no Kanada, which means beyond the boundary in Japanese. So That's a mouthful in both Minori, Japanese and English. It is, <laughs> I'll right? be real with you, boy. Minori uh, Chihara sings it, and oh my fucking God, is it good. Holy like shit, it. it's good. I like it. It makes me it's, cry. It's good. I like it. It's I I I I think that this is where I noticed that like this is going to be a wonderfully animated, wonderfully choreographed like cinematography. I yeah. mean, uh, like at like series because you've get you get all the landscapes, you get all these angled shots, and it's 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 very pleasing at least to my 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 yes. eyes. And you mm -hmm. get a lot of. Um, what I like is the um, the subway ride there because yes. um, you know mm -hmm. it's it's basically her just like starting out like this adventure. Mm -hmm. She's coming. She's on the yeah. trains. Are what is she doing? Reason? I don't know. I want to. I want to actually. I want to actually talk about that because in episode ten, during like the flashback on like how she made it back to, you know, this town and why did she come here, and it's shown during that part before the OP starts, like her calling. Uh, the bad, uh, the bad. Izumi. Yeah, Izumi. Or Iz Iz yeah, Izumi. Izumi. You're right. And, and then she's like getting on this train and then the OP starts and I'm like, yeah. holy shit, this is a yeah, big dude. brain play. Cause I literally, she literally sits down, holds the picture and goes into the tunnel that you see in the dude, opening. Trains and it is God tier. Are, trains are always such good symbolism. Like, yeah, yeah. dude. Like Every it's time. real. And like they have the flower. And the shot of, ah, uh, there's so much goodness in the song. And the song itself, super fucking good. The mm -hmm. Pino talked a lot about the like the backgrounds and the cinematography. One of my favorite the shots, shots yeah. was the uh, the one with the mirror for like checking to see if anyone's coming. The car mirror, whatever the hell you call yes. it. Yes. The curvy the, one. And the curvy one. Yeah. The one, yeah. The, yeah, the 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 eye fish like that. Yeah, eye the eye sort of. fish one. Yes, yes, ah, yes. okay. The fish eye, not eye fish. There we what, go. Who Thank are you. what are words going insane? Um, <laughs> no, it's because I'm just I'm just transmitting my my cold uh, yeah. to you guys I'm by dying. A, by, a, <laughs> by a grammar. Pino's got cold feet, everyone. <laughs> oh, I'm wearing socks though. Yeah, that's why they're cold. You shouldn't have dipped them in water before you put them on. I mean, I was running in that um, I was running in that uh, underground well that um, Aki was running uh, through in the dude, opening. dude, that's the that's the single scene that makes me like want to start crying, and I will occasionally. Just like seeing him run in that sewer, oh, fucking fuck me, my heart. But so this this opening is kind of split into two different segments. The first segments, the first co the first uh, verse, as well as just uh, all the characters kind of going through daily life. On the train and whatnot, but then the then the chorus starts building up, and then it shows like everyone fighting and doing their cool powers and shit, and it's so well animated. And I'm just like, damn, this is good. This is a good show, guys. I really like this show. If you don't know, <laughs> guys, Hiromi does his like little like hand thing and blows up <laughs> mm -hmm. everyone. Aki's running in the freaking 
the, sewer. The sewer. Uh, it's just it's it's so fucking good, and the song like matches that hype with it, and oh, it has all the characters in my heart. One of my favorite. You kind of you kind of get what you you signed up for with this yeah. opening. At least at least I think personally, I think it does a good job saying, "Hey, yeah, you're gonna have like your daily life, but um, check this out." <laughs> One of my favorite things about this opening is actually Mirai is never shown fighting. Hmm. She's only shown in the train and getting off the train, hmm. which is, she does I think, most is, of the fighting. Huh? Doesn't she do most of the, well, she does most of the action. In the in show. The show in the show, yeah. But yeah. not in the opening, which I think is a really cool choice because it's, because it's, the whole opening surrounds her taking this train ride. So... Having her stay in that trade, not appear any other time, I think is a really cool choice that they did. And man, like her that. holding the picture and ah, uh, so good. I just really love it. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. It's pretty good. It is real good. Ah, uh, man. You know what else is pretty good? Me. That ED. Oh, that ED is so good. Uh, it might yeah, be the best say, ED oh. ever. What? <laughs> I was going to say water. Okay. Yeah, this CD is pretty good, too. <laughs> no, so Daisy by Stereo Dive Foundation. Uh, Daisy? Does this... Hi, Hi, I'm Daisy! Daisy. <laughs> I, I, I had to. I had to, I had to, I had to be the uh, train Thank to you. lead you to <laughs> that joke. I'm sorry. But, oh, this fucking... This is one of, like, my top three endings of all time. I like this ending. The it's colors, very creative. Dude. It's yes. very, like, this is... Albeit there's not so much animation, but that's a good thing. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, need it's to not have a in lot. your face. It works so well with what it is. The ending is used multiple times to lead into it. Like they play the audio first, mm -hmm. and then they show it, and I'm just like, "This is so fucking good." Yep, I, I love, love stuff that like shit. that. I think I, Darling in the Franks did that a couple times, but it's but done I, but, so much but better. But Darling here. in the Franks is bad, so yeah, exactly. we don't talk about that. Like they do Why it don't in we JoJo. Just bring up JoJo. Yeah, exactly, because <laughs> they do it all the time, and like, oh, uh, it's just so good, though. Like, the song is so good. It shows her hand reaching up with, like, all the different flashing visuals. And it shows her, like, trying to walk with, like, all of her friends be part of something. And it sees her, like, reach longingly for it and, like, have everyone walking by her. But she has, like, the isolation that you hear about her later in the series, you know, being called there and lying and not telling anyone why she was there for Beyond the Boundary. And, like, her reaching out to Aki and, oh, it's so good. It just makes, this is probably the thing that makes me want to cry the most, like, of all time. Oh, and there's heavens. a lot of, there's, like, a lot of flower visuals and, oh, man, it's just so good. And it has all the characters and so many pretty colors. I just love this. This ending is so freaking good. And if you want to see how good of an ending can be watch this one and watch uh Kekai Sensen's ending. I like the guy's voice. It's pretty good. Yeah, voice. it's so good, right? I think it fits Perfect very well. Tone. It's got that it's got that ending theme vibe we're all desperately seeking with endings where it's like, hey, it's so it, you know it's over. your suffering has ended. I mean you know, the episode's <laughs> over. Yeah. No. Go home. You can you can Go cry home. Now. I you, mean you can you stop do? crying now. Yeah, you can stop crying now and then you're like, uh oh, I'm still crying because this ending's so good and I'm like, uh oh Oops. still there oops. The, um, <laughs> That would the, be a story to tell. The mm -hmm. horizon like images when she's face when we see her facing towards the sky, I like yeah. that part the most. It's it's again, it's all beautifully colored, all beautifully uh, not I guess I wouldn't say animated, all beautifully drawn, but yeah. it's simple and it works. And especially she, with, with especially if you like take that time to animate all that hair moving. So yeah, you, know. <laughs> uh, you can tell Kyoto Animation has a field day with all these shows, but especially. Um, at the end, where Mirai does a little, like, smile, oh, my heart breaks every time. It's just the cutest fucking thing. Guys, there's too much heartbreak good. in this show. Guys, this show's just really good. Was it? Was it? <laughs> You'll find out in a couple moments. Guys, that was a good, that was a good section. Do you want to talk about the plot now? Yeah, go ahead and lay it on me. Guys, I'm going to lay it on you. <laughs> so, oh. basically, the what? Oh, you're laying oh. it on? Go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I'm there's lay it no on. stopping it now. The world 
in which the story takes place and is inhabited with creatures called Yomu, which literally translates to catastrophic dream. Oh, ah. Which uh, basically uh, are evil spirits. Let's just say, just to make it easier for everyone. And there are people called Spirit World Warriors, the SWWs, that <laughs> that basically fight these and kill them for profit. It's not Yu Yu Hakusho. To protect. It is not Yu nope. Yu Show. Not I at promise. all. Yusuke, well, where are you? Yusuke. <laughs> no. <laughs> I miss Yusuke. Guys, remember that time when we watched Yu Yu Show? No one else does because no one watched that fucking episode. Damn, but dude, that let's continue. Hurts. So I, so we meet Aki, who is the invincible half Yomu, who's half Yomu, half human, because his mom's a freak. And hey, I mean, <laughs> yeah, continue. <laughs> and uh, basically what happens is a girl named Mirai comes to kill him, essentially. Yeah, and, he doesn't know that. Well, he does know that when, when she when she stabs him. Yeah, he's just like, oh. hi-yah. Oh, I thought does it, it, she was no, just... Doesn't, th- what? I yeah. thought she was just stabbing him for fun, and that's why he no, thought... Well I, well, I only stab for goofs, but you know, that's just me. She yeah. just didn't want to be called a bi-spectacle beauty. And oh, then, my you know, God. it just triggered God. her. You know, there's only some trigger words. And then <laughs> and she bi- just went, she went ham. And was the one. Yeah. That was it. She, I'm, I'm a bi She's you. She's you. <laughs> spectacle. <laughs> <laughs> and so he if gets she was spectacle, he, then she would be wearing a monocle. Yeah, you know what? I think she'd be, look better with a monocle. Would she? I mean, she'd be look cute. I don't know about that. If one. you but disagree, regardless, please send us an email. But regardless, they she she keeps stabbing him, but he can't die. He's and like, ow. Yeah. And he's like, like, ouch, owie. And then he's like, I'm going to take you to this Mexican restaurant. And Pino said, this is my culture. How dare you? And then <laughs> after not, that, basically she's How talks. dare you not leave a good tip there, Mariah? <laughs> <laughs> I was your waiter that day. How dare you? But, How dare um, you, man? What? Uh, ooh, I hear some jangles. Um, yeah, she's itching. I'm itching, dude, for a scritching. Um, but after she basically gives up and stops stabbing him, the hollow shadow comes in, which is a big Yomu that's scary. And it'll hurt you. He's scary. Um, But once you do the scariness, Aki and Mirai go and fight it. Mirai, because she actually has... She basically killed Yui, who was her adopted sister, close enough, who was possessed by the hollow shadow and so first off what the hell is the deal with airline food (laughs) yeah i'm sorry yeah yeah you said it you said the words no if i said the words i would have been what's the deal and then you could have let in no no you you don't need the accent to make it funny. What's the deal with Kyoto Animation making all these characters Yui? Oh, what? <laughs> what's the, the funny? deal? <laughs> no, but... What's the deal with this girl being part of a cursed bloodline? Uh-oh! <laughs> Literally. Literally, just stop having blood, and then you won't be part of it anymore. What is this? Yu Yu Naruto show? Is this <laughs> Sasuke? Please clap. <laughs> Adam, so, uh, during this part, uh, isn't that her name? Mirai. No, Sak- so Sakura is the sister of mm. Yui, who's like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, you Come killed my kill sister. You. And she had a sloopy sloopy weapon that eats up the Yomu. And cool. basically they fight it. That was a cool, like, little, like, yeah. chain, chain, like, chainsaw spear yeah, weapon. Chainsaw that was kind of cool. Gun yeah. thing. <laughs> It, it was felt like, like a, a Final Fantasy out of Final weapon. Fan. <laughs> <laughs> yes. We knew it. I knew where you were uh, going. But so they fight. Uh, she loses. Uh, Aki oh gets no. possessed by the Hollow Shadow. He gets stabbed. He becomes the Yomu dude. And then he blows up a lot of things. Mirai hugs him. We're all living. And then there was an idol episode, which was very good. And it made me giggle a lot. One of the one of the things that I want to talk about is how well they integrate comedy without it being a full comedy show. Because it's not... You're not inundated with jokes, I feel. 
I can agree for the most part until we reach the last couple episodes. I think that might have been... I don't know. As soon as I, I started getting to the last tw like 10, 11, and 12, 12 being the most, at least for me, the one with the most, um, I guess, guilt uh, with this, I felt like they were forcing the comedy a little too much on 12, but every other time, it was pretty okay. Like I was like, okay, hee hee. But 12, he, I'm like, come on, guys. You're about I never, to die. Somebody's I, I never, I never really felt that even in episode 12, but you can have your own wrong opinions. Um, so, <laughs> no, I, these are correct because oh. if it makes me uncomfortable, it must be true. Yeah. Oh. The, so there's a couple points where they were clearly trying to be funny, but I don't know if they were just trying too hard or if the jokes just, just didn't land with me. Maybe like it was one of those two. All the jokes about little sisters, like they do it all the time, mm. and it starts to wear pretty thin. Well, well that's I a can agree with that trait. at least. <laughs> but yeah. it's a one-trick pony. No, his second trick trait. is putting his hands on his hips. Uh, that yeah. was funnier though. Uh, no, putting putting his fingers through his little little his shoulders. Waist. That was funny. Was I like that. Yeah. I missed that. Yeah. Uh, the Even funny... when it came back at the end, I was like, he. Now but, one, um... of the, one of the funny jokes was when he was looking through the peep the peep like glass pe telescope periscope thing and his whole face was was <laughs> was tanned besides the little bit that he was looking I for. like that but I, that made his me little good. sister <laughs> I, I would just went hee hee um but regardless there's some funny bits and then beyond the boundary happens which there's a whole bunch of convoluted things that happen to lead up to this and beyond there's a the boundary PU. there is a pu guys this podcast is about to enter a PU, a podcast universe. We're gonna fucking hit de facto speed. Guys, We're the de facto speed over. is is us trying to finish this episode as fast as possible <laughs> so Pino doesn't die. Um, Pressing the A button as few times as possible. Guys, but how TJ can you... Henry Garbalax... <laughs> How can you how can you get into a PU with that many with with that many with with that many episodes? <laughs> well, in, a podcast is a podcast. You can't say it's only a half fap. a podcast. <laughs> oh man, guys, love that. One video. person's gonna get that joke. Um, <laughs> so let's on let's continue on. So beyond the boundary, basically, comes every thousand years and is like, hey, humans, stop being so bitchy, and. And yeah, he's off of human emotions, but the negative ones, correct? Like, yeah. it's the animosity, the hatred, the yes. anger. And I, I found that pretty interesting. I mean, they, it, they, it, they, they made the cliche work, and I like that. How come it. there aren't any ones for good memories? <gasps> Unless there are. <gasps> hmm. uh, is this a theory? More on that later. <laughs> well, you said moron. Anyway, when the got battery him, happens. Got him. And Mirai stabs the dude, Aki. And he goes, ow. And he goes, oof. And she takes Beyond the Boundary and then goes up into space yeah. and fights Beyond the Boundary for a while. Aki comes out of a coma. It's like, oh, uh, shit, dude. This it's is like, oh, weird. I had a most wonderful dream. But it yeah, was you, sad. You must have. It's been three months. <laughs> yeah. And then um, after that, uh, we go to Beyond the Boundary. We meet his mom again. We love the mom. <laughs> and go up into space. They fight it. He has, he has, I was talking about his hand and I thought it was just like if he went to the store and only bought one whole hand instead of two. What? What? And moving on. <laughs> after <laughs> that, they, uh, they fight beyond the boundary. They win. And after that, uh, Mirai disappears. Spoilers once again. Spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Because Aki took Beyond the Boundary back, and then there's a whole ending scene where it basically seems like Mirai is gone, and then the ring disappears from Aki's hand. He's like, ah, oh, shit, dude. And then he runs upstairs and sees Mirai with no glasses on. That will become important later. And then he puts on the glasses, and then that's the end. I don't get the ending. The ending's a bit squishy. Squishy. What do you mean? I uh, my brain goes squish whenever I think about it. <laughs> so is that Mariah or not? Like I'm I'm not joking. <laughs> I so it's never confirmed. We don't know. Oh, I okay. so Garb has one way of thinking. I have the other way of thinking. Garb, you go first. I think that she is a Yomu that either came from Aki. His Yomu half might have just split off and become the one thing, or maybe she's a new sort of creation as, as part of Beyond the Boundary. But I think she's Yomu, and 
because, you know, Yomu exists from human thoughts. And maybe it's not just negativity, maybe positive ones could make her into a, a people again. Fascinating. And what is, what Chuck, what's your thinking? Because so, I still can't wrap my brain around any of this. So my thinking was that with um, Mirai, so you know how basically Aki split into two pieces, the Yomu and the normal human, <laughs> like how we did okay, with Beyond yeah. the Boundary. He, he, the same thing happened with Mirai. Wait, wait, technically, weren't there three? Remember there was the there was the there was the Aki that was like a puppet. Well, was... see, that's that's what I'm saying because there was that puppet Aki that was made oh. with beyond their boundary, and I think Mirai also went into a coma or something like that, and then this is a like the real Mirai and the one up in beyond the boundary was made for you know whatever things through beyond the boundary. Obviously, this is a fucking big extrapolation. And the big thing about that is um, Aki has her glasses. And well, the, he was planning on purchasing glasses, right? Well, yes, mm -hmm. but the but she, like, her glasses, like, Mirai's glasses were sitting on the chair next to his, like, uh, hospital bed. Uh -huh. And with that, those were the ones that he had, or, like, those were the ones, uh -huh. or he bought the new pair, whatever. Okay. And she doesn't have those glasses. So, like, I think that because she doesn't have those glasses, she had to have existed in some of the world be hmm. passed beyond the boundary because beyond the boundary, Mirai still has the glasses. I'm so fucking confused. Right? Okay, so yeah. here's my theory. Remember when um, the explanation of, uh, you know, you know, the, the Izumi told um, Mirai, hey, you, you gotta kill Aki because that's the only way to... Uh, that, that was your contract, and that's what we had to do. And then he, she told her, there's another way. You can save Aki, but, you know, you'll die, obviously. Uh, somewhere in between that, I think it might have been episode 10 or 11, they explained right. that that when, he sta when she stabbed um, Aki, uh, she was consumed by Beyond the Boundary, meaning that they were both basically now, like, it, intertwining, uh, fusing in, in in a way, like her blood was inside um, beyond the boundary. Okay. Um, yes. She disappeared as soon as beyond the boundary disappeared, um, but Aki obviously took beyond the boundary back in himself. Mm. Uh, I'm not saying it's all in his head, mm -hmm. but it might be all in his head. <laughs> it could be. We don't know. Yes, I don't like my theory, but that's the only one that makes sense to me. It's a lot sadder, but um, that's what I think. But I don't. I don't want to think that. I like. I like. Um, I like both of yours a little bit better. Yeah, cool. <clears throat> Epic. I don't know which if, one I agree with. Though. If you had a different interpretation, then you're email wrong. us. <laughs> At no, the you're funky wrong. Funky anime podcast. That's sure, Bacayish. Funky anime podcast at gmail dot com. Guys, or contact the funky anime podcast dot com. <clears throat> Guys, now that we've talked about the plot, let's talk about some, some sticky characters now. Yeah, yeah let's go. Do. We can okay. dig into we can dig further in the plot with these characters too. You gotta dig a little deeper. Find out who you are. You gotta dig a little deeper. Nobody gets this reference. Okay. Um first one. Akihito Kanbara. I never even knew. I'm just gonna call him Akihito. Akihito yeah, Kaiba. Call... Wait, no, that's Kaiba. SAO. No. Katsu Hakimatsu um. man. I'm going to Tatsumaki die. Seppuku. <laughs> oh. Um, I. K O okay. K O. <laughs> Guys, Akira's a good fucking character. He got blonde hair. He like glasses. Yeah, he's got that thing for fetish. I mean, that wow, thing for my fetish. Head. He's got that fetish for glasses. My <laughs> my brain is not working today. I apologize. I can tell. Um, I I I got a little sick of the glasses thing by the end. No, nah, I love it, glasses. It, it just I I agree with with what he's preaching, but he goes on a little too long about it. Yeah, no. I didn't like especially especially the part like I get why he said it as part of his character, but he's like it's I got it I it's it, I got to do it because I'm a pervert. I was I like think, oh my god, are you serious? Like I, I get I it. I just think it's get enduring. It. I just think it's enduring. I like it. I don't know. I, maybe it's because I'm the pervert here, but. Maybe because I wear glasses and I felt unpleasant. Maybe it's because Pino, I love you. How unpleasant! <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, Aki's a really fun character. I really think he's great. There's a lot of funny moments with him. He's good. 
He just makes me happy. Man. Family Guy funny moment. Don't you dare <laughs> solely this episode hey. with Family Guy funny hey, moments. Hey, Akihito. Hey. <laughs> I can't. I can't do it. I can't bring myself. Yeah, I'll I end won't. you. I, I won't. This, this episode will go dead silent as I fly <laughs> over there and actually kill you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Aki's a good character. I think he's real fun and he's a cute boy. He, he definitely developed yeah, he developed a lot from episode one. I like that. Yeah, I um, like, or at least he opened up a lot more. Because at first I was like, okay, he's your typical happy guy, and then I'm yes. like, oh, he's a monster too. That makes yeah, him a little right? cooler. The, the do I look like a normal person? Oh, fuck me up, dude. That's so good. Yeah, dude. This man is already, at least if if you were to think of in the in the world that he's lived in, he's already developed into a person who knows what he is and what um you know what what he wants to be, he, and um that's the positivity man. Trying, yeah. to, trying to trying to be happy. He's well, like, hey, I, you're like me. Don't be like me. Be like me, me. You know what I mean? He grew I, yaoi he, hands, and I didn't like that. There were so many good hand animations in this show, and I'm just like, this is a good show. Yeah, but guys, his fingers were too long. Guys, I have long fingers. I have short fingers. I don't have any comment. <laughs> okay. I thought you were going to say you didn't have any fingers. <laughs> I was I, like, uh-oh. Shoot. <laughs> How'd you type? <laughs> Uh, like this. Wait a second, that's, that's a horse. <laughs> Nay. Don't like this horse in my room. <laughs> that oh, was he's galloping not. on my keyboard. No, why did he step on my priceless laptop? Now I'm going no. to have to buy a new one with the Patreon funds. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, now that we've talked about the person who does know who he is, let's talk about the person who doesn't know who they are. Let's talk about Mirai. Mirai's fucking a, cute as hell. What a nice cinnamon bun. Ah, Very she's, sad. She's baby. She's baby. What a nice dude. cinnamon bun. Yeah, she's a pretty cinnamony. I would have to agree with you on she's, that one. She is cinnamony. She's a and a little bit of a bun as well. Mm. Guys, she's fun. I like her. Underclassman, blood type O, which is good to know blood for type, all you donors out blood there. Blood type. Mm. Um. Ooh. But she's she's the the cursed bloodline gal. She got a blood sword, which is real cool. I like it. I like her powers. I like how she's sad because it adds character development. I think she's just a cute character. I'm she glad she glasses. got happy at the end. That yeah, was, that right? was the main thing because she was just sad the entire time. I was like, girl, come on. Uh, when when she was then. when she was like, oh, I'm happy I was alive. I'm like, I was this happy. I was is... like, girl, you did it. You did it. <laughs> I'm proud of you. Oh, it's so good. I love this. Sh I love her. She's cute and she's just wonderful. She tried to make her design is real nice. Her design, her, her design so is real nice. Yeah. Uh, her pink, her pink jacket, her pink hair, yeah. these glasses, uh, the eyes, especially the focus on her eyes. Sometimes in the episodes were great. It's I was a like, good look aesthetic. at that, dude. Yeah, pink. Wow. Who 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 would have thought that Kyoto Animation knows how to make characters look good? Nonsense. <laughs> They're just happened. amateurs. Amateurs. They would not know. What is this amateur hour? What is this? Get the off. first anime? Get out of here! Get off. How about Get another anime, me? Murray? Get this <laughs> off my screen. I've been telling you. I sit down, I drop my pants, and I watch anime. Get these uh, uh, Japanese letters off of me. Oh no! <laughs> so what Murray All of that. Oh no! What Murray were you referring to? Oh, I was referring to the Murray from a Joker. Uh oh! I was thinking about a different Murray. <laughs> you get what you have to deserve. Blop 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 blop. Uh oh, <laughs> guys, let's talk about Mitsuki Nase now. Ah, uh, Mitsuki, good character. Mitsuki, baby as well. I like her. She 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 started off as somebody I was just like, oh, she's gonna be the annoying type that's just like mean to everybody. But really, she's just the youngest of the family, and she's just you know always left behind and always has to do her stuff. Uh, you know, she's up, at the end. She's like, I'm, I don't want to be the house sitter. I was like, damn, I know yeah. that feel, dog. I think but, she um, took the, yeah. the put up with the least amount of bullshit. Like she was fed up with everything. You know? Yeah. She was very direct, except like, for with the uh, 
with the um the lanterns, which was one of her best scenes. Where oh man, she was very that, cute about it. That hurt my heart. That whole episode just made my heart. like that was a funny episode at the beginning, and then very sad at the end. <laughs> that's how they get you, that, dude. That's how she she opened up, and that was the episode I very much said this is a good character because yeah. at first she was just serious, very frank, very forward, but. She's she's just, she's a kid. I mean, she she never had a childhood because her family's like a famous, um, I guess, uh, spirit warrior clan of of some sort. And you know, going yeah. going to see the lanterns with um, Mirai was um, was very nice to see because yes. she was also excited. You could tell. Yeah, it's very good. Mm-hmm. I, she's the one who surprised me the most because the last black haired person we saw in a in a Kyo anime uh, animated series. Was was real was a real was a real asshole. Yeah, <laughs> if you remember with a uh, silent voice, I didn't didn't like that. So I'm glad that uh, she wasn't mean. It wasn't me. Wasn't yeah. me. She wasn't mean. She was nice. Very nice. I mean, she was a little mean, but sometimes you gotta be a little mean. Sometimes you gotta yeah. be a little bit sassy. I mean, she cares. She, yeah, she's sassy. The other girl was straight up a, an asshole, but she's just like he he poke fun at you, <laughs> <laughs> make fun of the fact you like me, bro. <laughs> Guys, let's talk about Hiromi. I love that. Ah, Hiromi I love Scarf this boy. boy. He's, he's funny. Boy. He's a good boy. He's got a he's got a thing for his sister. I'll, I'm gonna look which past is, that. For which now. is a little bit rough, but like I'm yeah. okay with it because he. Well, I'm not okay with it, but I'm okay with his character because I like his character. Yeah, a lot. he's a, he's a good character. He's like, strong uh, as fuck, boy. Yeah, yeah. And that scar on the back, oof. Yeah, the talk scar about, on the back is so badass. Bad talk ass. about hard. Scar on the back, Core. scarf on the neck. Guys, yeah. scarf my neck, dude. Dude, he wore a scarf. I was like, dude, I wear scarfs. Dude, I was like, legit. Oh, dude, me too. Sometimes it yeah. gets cold outside. Yeah. He, he gets cold all the time. I yeah. love, I love Hiromi. He's such a fun character, too. Yeah. He's very, he pairs very well with Aki and with, yes. their, um, with their likes and dislikes. Um, Gotta put his hand. Which, which at the start, it made him, it, it, at the start, it seemed like they were like rivals in a sense, but I'm glad were, that they, yeah. I'm glad that they were just friendly, friendly guys just having fun. Yeah, they're just pal guys being dudes. What's better than that? Guys What's being better than dudes. two guys on a boat? Guys, I'm <laughs> on a boat. the moon. Two friends in a boat. Guys, what I put a, be I put pure? the boat on the moon. Anyway, guys. Let's talk about a couple other people, shall we? Give me two seconds to open. Like, hold up. I was still talking about Hiromi. Then talk oh, about Hiromi, baby. Stall while Chuck finds more I characters. I very much enjoyed his dedication, his loyalty to the family. Um, yeah. The way he looked up to his sister, um, the, the, mo- the uh, as he revealed to us, and the fact that he would protect his family at all costs, especially his little sister. Obviously a little weird, but, you know, who wouldn't protect family at that point? Yeah. I uh, uh, one of the Very, things- very smart, very intuitive. He was the... It was like one of the him and his sister both were very very much the um the investigators when it came to some matters but um I very much like um the actions Hiromi took with um everything with the beyond the boundary incident. Yeah, I really liked at the end when he's like, "Oh, Hiromi took over the Nase family." But he's like, "Shut up, grandfather, I know." And I'm like, "Yes, boy. Put your foot down." Hell yeah. Yeah, put that boomer in his place. Yeah, fuck you, <laughs> boomer. Guys. Oh. He goes, oh, and then he died. You have a heart attack right then and there, because he is old. Because he's old he's, as fuck. He is old and does not like new things. <laughs> <laughs> I am young. I like new things because I am young and full of vigor. That's a good video. I like old um, things. Guys, why can't I swipe my phone? Why it's all I right. I'll get you with the next mother. character. Let's talk about the. Let's I cannot, talk about. Guys, let's switch. Let's switch gears to a villain now. Oh fuck, dude. Let's talk about Fujimi uh, Miroku. Oh man, what a fucking asshole. He you just, know, anytime you see these Kyo Kyo anime, if you got glasses, actually, no, that was. That, I don't wait. Who did erase? Erase was somebody else, right? Yeah, erase was definitely somebody. Well, else. whenever but you watch anime and you see a creepy glasses, glasses and guy, driving gloves, don't trust them. Yeah, I don't, he had gloves. He he. The warning signs were there. I don't know what it is about him, but he just didn't. I feel like he wasn't there a whole lot. He and was I, not there a whole. And lot. I didn't. I didn't really give a shit about him. He showed he was, up in like episode two ish, and he was talking to some lady, and I was like, ah, he's gonna be here for some reason, but I have yeah, no dude. reason to care at the moment. Yeah, and he shows up like episode six or seven. I'm like, ah, okay, he's gonna be bad, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. and well, then you should know immediately that. I don't know. I just 
I don't really give a shit about them. Yeah, I feel like they didn't develop at least... They developed the kids in this series a lot better than the adults, I believe. Um, they left you with more questions with the adults than answers, at least for my, in my opinion. Like, the re again, spoilers for another section here. Um, it's revealed that both Fuji, uh, Fu uh, Fuji Mummy Roku and um, the big sister, who we'll talk about, I guess, Izumi. after, um, Izumi, are actually part Yomu as well. Uh, or full Yomu. Uh, no, they're remember. part, because they're, part. they like, they're... Uh possessed quote-unquote by them yeah and i was just um you know i wanted to at least know more about why uh the motivations um their history but again the series was more focused towards the story of um aki and mirai rather than um the the, the rest of the world it did it did add a good mystery it did add a good little way for me to be like hmm, i yeah. like where this is going yeah. but i would have loved to see a lot more uh development of the world though i do mm. understand it's a more self-contained story than that yeah uh, I just yeah, wish he wasn't. Fine. I just wish he wasn't only like bad guy. You know, he didn't. Yeah. He didn't seem like he had something he thought was was a good thing to do, but was bad yeah. for everyone else. There was no. Know? I didn't feel drive or any motivation yeah. that I could initially point he at. Was it's just like, like oh, I'm the bad guy. Because I'm like, a yomu. He's like, I have a yomu in me. Yeah. Hey. Remember that little girl? This is her spear. Uh, I'm gonna take that spear. And then he gets he gets yeeted, or he doesn't get yeeted. He just disappears, right? Yeah, he just dies. He yeets appears. Ah, oh, yeets appears. I hate yeets appearing. <laughs> Isn't that the official term for being yeetsukai? Uh, yes, it is now. Guys, there's guys. You yeets appear to get yeetsukai. <laughs> you got yeetsukai, dude. But now that we've talked about one of the dudes, let's talk about uh, Izumi, because Izumi oh. is a good that character. mole on her chin. Look at mm. that. Oh. Oh. Mm. Art. Art. Zoom. All of her scenes were great. Yeah. Uh, even the ones where she's not doing any action. She's mm -hmm. she's very... Uh, what is the... Uh, stoic? I was going to say stoic. I wasn't sure if that was the correct it's word. It's a good word. Okay, yeah. She's very serious. She knows her role in the series. She knows her role as the... Well, the pred the the in, in the series, the current head of the household of the Nase family. Um, she wears she's the cool. pants. Yeah, even though she's wearing skirts most of the time. <laughs> I don't have any cool. complaints about her. I liked her I don't a whole lot. Yeah, yeah, she was fun. She's I thought she did an excellent job. Yeah, I didn't hate her for... Because like, I feel like before you got the entire picture, you're like, oh no, Izumi is the bad guy. No, she just did her part. She's yeah, just like, yeah, yeah I contacted you. To do. You are here to kill him. Okay, yeah. don't get close to him. Okay, you didn't listen. Don't get close to him. And even okay, if, last warning. <laughs> even if you do consider her like a bad guy, yeah, like you just said, Pino, she did give fair warning, and yeah. she was doing what she genuinely believed was right. She wasn't, you know, trying to just be evil. You know? Yeah, she even explains herself to um, yeah. Aki at the end, She's and like, I was just like, "There's no other way." Yeah. I mean, you, you, you know, I think Thanos did nothing wrong, so I don't <laughs> think Izumi did anything wrong either. Um. But no, she all her action scenes were great. Um, her her scene with um, her brother and um, the bad guy in the white room that was real good. Um, I didn't, I'm just upset she disappeared. I wanted to at least uh, explore more of her character. But again, self contained story. Yeah, it happens. Yeah, I like her. She's a fun character. Very interesting. Probably one of the most interesting characters in the show. And it's yeah. full of a lot of really interesting characters. Yeah, so that's she's famous. mysterious, and that's mysterious. cool. Mysterious. Guys, yeah. Let's talk about uh, Nino. Nino. Nino Cooney? No, not that one. Nino the other one. Nakano? No, not that one. Uh, uh, Nino from Fire Emblem. No, not that one. Oh, you mean Nino the teacher? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Nino Mia Shizuku. Yeah, dude, she's so freaking good. I love her. She doesn't get that they, much screen time, but man. I wish they explored her more. She was great. The moment she saw I her, wish I wish I just, could I explore saw... her more. <laughs> <laughs> was she the one? <laughs> was she the one that had uh, characters written on her yes, face in red? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The moment I saw her, I'm like, that's teacher vibes. If I saw it yeah. anywhere, and, and she was, she even threatened to kill someone. I was pretty cool. Yeah, I'm classroom. just like, if my teacher is gonna kill somebody, dude, let it be me. <laughs> Honestly, dude, Please. just crunch me, dude. Just <laughs> crunch ties me, Nino. <laughs> <laughs> that, is that our thumbnail? Just, uh, just Nino's face on top of Crab Crunch. Uh, Please. Uh, just a, a high heel and Pino's face. <laughs> a high heel. A high heel and cereal. 
Honestly, <laughs> dude. Guys, she's a fun character, though. She punches good. One of the things Who? that I actually really enjoyed about this show mm-hmm. is that a lot of the characters are girls, but they're all, like, strong girls. There's no, like, weak pussy shit here. Like, they're strong women, and I'm like, hell yeah, dude. Yeah, dude, more power to them. More I feel power. like I feel like Thor in Thor Ragnarok, where it's like, a group of women, hell yeah. Like, that's that's how I feel. I want another. <laughs> I like this so much, I'm going to have it again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, not again. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, all the women were very, very strong. I like that. They had their... their they made money. They made the bread. That's, yeah, they, that's they the best They're making part. that bread, boy. The only thing I didn't like, and it's not that it's not no points against the show, but like, who would say like, nah, girl, I ain't hanging out with you, Nino. Um, I'm flaking she... on you. <laughs> I'm like, why? Why would you flake? She could hunt you down if she wanted to. But, but also, she, wanted. she she bad as. But also, AD. she thick as fuck. Yeah, dude. Thick I get I get crunched by the boy, pie. Right, I'm telling you, get get crunched. Yeah, dude, if Guys, I was a young girl, that'd be the way to go. 2020, you're the crunch, dude. 2020, get crunched. Get crunched. Get crunched. Crunch, get... Crunch, 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 Guys, crunch, crunch. we're going to sell merch that says get crunched. Get crunched. Get Guys, crunched. get crunched. Anyway, let's talk about Yayoi Kanbara, which is Aki's mom. <laughs> Yoi. Oh, wait, sorry. No, nope, not that one. Not that. Got not a skeleton. Got to say, yo, yo. she's really got it going on. <laughs> she's... Uh-huh. Yeah, she, she doesn't show up entirely too much, but when she does, she does. Um, she think she's just make it funny. I think it's a total yeah. of three times, and one of those is in person. Yeah, yes. she's so end. good though. Yeah, I love her. I I didn't think she was going to be the same way she was in her letters, but she was. I didn't mind that <laughs> she wasn't. I thought that she was that she was going to be a real demon and not a young. I mean, a demon. And she, she dressed up as one though. She was a little little devil girl at the end. Yeah, I was like, "Yep, she's a demon. She's Look at her. not a demon." And maybe you're not is. able to move your tail like that. That's that's incorrect. Yeah, she's a yeah. demon. It's it's wonderful. I love her. It's she's, such she's a contrast fun. to everybody else. Yeah, um, and it works so well. Yeah, and it like it, you get to see Aki's real kind of like. I guess real it's self, like, like quote unquote. Yeah. This is what he. Mom, 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 mom. Stop. I'm getting naked in front of my friends. Uh, I'm going to get naked in front of my friends. Stop. <laughs> Mommy. <laughs> Marge. <laughs> but Aki. Okay. Uh, I don't care. Guys, let's talk about Sakura now. That's not radical. Uh, Sakura is great. She got little buns on her hair and she <sighs> had a big chain weapon at first and Can then you, she didn't. You know what is great? Buns in hair. Yeah, and dude. that is all I have to say you know, about that. You know and what's uh, great? Um, not expressing any emotion, but then expressing emotion. That's pretty cool. You know what's great? Book. Wearing a biscuit shirt. Dude, you know, <laughs> biscuit shirt, top tier. That's Toriyama you know level shirt. Okay? You know what's cool? Um, red eyes. Mm. Oh, I, and I, yellow I jacket. Red they complement each other really, red really. Eyes? Cool. Oh, fuck me up, dude. Red eyes, demon girl. Yep, all about you it. You know what's great? Um... Chainsaw weapons. Oh, yep. chainsaw weapons. That's oh, really dude, 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 that's a good chainsaw. Dude, yeah. she's practically a Bloodborne character. Bruh, I can't believe dude, I made her in Bloodborne, Bloodborne and they put her into anime. You know what's not cool? What's not huh? cool? Calling somebody's food disgusting after they save you. That was kind of rough. But that's well, that was at a little least, mean. At least she was honest. And but at least she did eat it at the end. My she, favorite she, thing, she my favorite thing about her was like just wanting to go back to bed. I'm like fucking mood. Me too. Yeah, yeah dude. It's not even my house. Not even my bed. Yeah. I go anyone, sleep. Anyone wearing a biscuit shirt, they get to go back to bed. It's just yeah, fact. That's true. That's the facts. Guys, we got two more I want to talk about before we go into the segment mm-hmm. that I haven't thought about yet, and I'm gonna have to make a split second decision. Okay. First one is I. Who is one of the two main full Yomu Me? characters that we, no, I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> one of the main Yomu characters that we meet. I is baby, like a certified baby. Like yeah, there's a she the, has a like a like a ID card that says baby on it because every that's um, wait a second. Huh? You can't say that because she's been taking those pictures with that one lady. That's I don't think baby can have certifications for that. You know how you can have a one true pair? Well, this is one true baby. Yeah, this is one true baby. They're all... They're, OTB! This is all fake. This is all fake news. I've, I've watched the anime. You'll see what I'm talking about. Okay. <laughs> Guys, 
she's good. She's cute. She's wonderful. No, she's great. But it's questionable with the direction everybody went in this show with her. Uh, no, it's but, okay. Uh, she's a cat, so that's a plus already. Oh, yeah, she is a cat. Oh, yeah, they, yeah. Were, trying, they were making new jokes, and I was like, please... And then it was the cat, and then they showed yeah. a real nude, and I was like, uh oh, yeah. woo, woo, woo. Is that the police outside? Because that's what's happening. Um, but yeah, she's wonderful. I love her. She's she's like actually baby, and I was so happy whenever I saw her. And I'm, then in the idol episode when she had her own little outfit, I was like, oh my goodness, dude! All of the outfits in that bit, dude. I I can't, I can't wait for Animal Crossing, dude. They knew exactly how to. <laughs> Merchandise, everything thinking, here. Thinking about those outfits, guys. She's wonderful. I love her. That's good, guys. She also had really cute blue eyes, and I'm just like, fuck yeah, dude. Blue eyes, hell yeah. yeah she's also dude. funny looking cat. She's she a little is chubby a, cat. She's, she's a little is. cat with two tails. I love her. Oh, I didn't even yeah. see that there were two tails. Yeah, there are there two, two tails. tails. I did not I even see. But that you was know, Miles more tails than two tails. Dude, she's gonna Sonic. She's gonna fly so high. Ah, I wanna fly ah. Guys, Ayaka now is also a Yomu. She's wonderful she, too. She's um she's a nine tail from Pokemon. The Alolan version, of course. The white yes. one. <laughs> and she went, ah. guys, she's also fantastic. She, she does takes all pictures the Yomu of everybody. Stuff. Uh no, those bits though with uh with Mirai when she was taking pictures, like those are some of my favorite bits. Especially she's when it's like way. especially when she's like, We cannot tell you who are buying these pictures. We have a strict confidentiality, but their initials but like are AK. AK, I'm just like, dude, AK-47. <laughs> and then and then another time when Aki was there while she was taking pictures, he was like, how much is for that one? And I'm like, this is so fucking funny. I love it. <laughs> it's so good. Ayaka's great. She's also very strong and awesome. Yeah. Yeah. She's a Yomu too, which is yeah. cool. She got a shop. Yes. And she wears those little funny looking sandals I like. Dude, I wear those, but everyone thinks uh-huh. I'm f- stupid when they see me wear those. <laughs> Do you think that someday she's going to get to be Hokage? God, I hope so. Yo, believe it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Welcome to the 53rd Whoa. edition of Who's the Best Girl, the part of the podcast where each contestant puts forward their choice for the title of Best Girl of the episode and do it out for that title of the Best Girl. I messed that one up. Today, our contestants, once again, will never change. Third season running. Pino, Garb, myself, and the Patreon. Who are you each advocating for? I pick Izumi. Izumi. I pick, uh, yeah, 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 what was her name again? Nino? Mama Dukes. No. Mama Dukes. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I you? pick Yayoi. 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 Yayoi I, Kanbara. I, I am going to pick the easy one. I'm going to pick Mirai. And the Patreon picked Wait, Mitsuki. You and, a Patreon? Uh, and Mitsuki, you I'm also going right, to fight for do. because I'm the damn Patreon man today, baby. Also, I forgot. Thank you, John, Cosmo, Six Hair, and Sid for being Dude. our big cash money winners of the episode. You guys are great. Thank you so much for supporting the podcast. You Thank make you guys. Us you, you make it possible for us to do what we do. So thank you. Guys, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Okay. All right. Um, she's a mom. Yeah? Check. I rest my case. <laughs> you've, you've, you've convinced me. No, I'm kidding. Uh, oh, let's, let's you've start. You've unconvinced uh, me. Pretty funny character. I appreciate anyone who can make me laugh. You know, it's pretty, it's a pretty good idea. It's a good quality. Um, you say you don't yeah. like me. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, Chuck. Okay. Anyway, she also cosplays a lot, which is very questionable, but interesting. It's intrigued me at that point. Also, I don't know why she was a cat, but that cat suit was great. I thought that was wonderful. Also, she's a badass, because apparently she gets stabbed, but she substitutes and jutsu her way out of there, so that's, you know, it's always yeah, handy yeah. to have a quick, quick getaway. You know, escape rope is always good in Pokemon games, or, you know, that's a good idea. Also, she's already had a child, so she might not want one, even though I might want one. But, you know, that's that's supposing stuff. And, again, she might be a demon. Could be. You know, probably I not do a good like idea, you know? girls. But, it's on the contrary, I mm. gotta say, wouldn't you be embarrassed anywhere you went with her, Pino? It's my secret, Captain. I'm, I'm always, always embarrassed. embarrassed. <laughs> hmm. You got me there. 
Yeah. Plus, all those postcards. You can just save those postcards and you can watch them for later. You'll never be alone. <laughs> You'll be like, he, he, he's so very funny. And then you just put them away and you forget how to open them. Plus, then then you have a kid who's like the the big big head honcho demon who can protect you Wait, and man. also say you live your life, bitch. <laughs> Does this make you uh, a Yomu? No. Makes me Pino. Ah. Uh, she's pretty good, but... She's pretty good. <laughs> That's she's all little, I gotta say. She's a little crazy. Hey, hey, you know what? I think you're a little crazy. You know, that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, I'm a little crazy too. <laughs> Plus, who's gonna nurse me back to health? Uh-oh. It ain't gonna be Mr. Nose Hair. <laughs> oh no. I need to learn to speak up. <laughs> <laughs> Pass me the ketchup. <laughs> I should have used Vane. No. Oh. Uh, She's yeah, good though. I like that's her. my pick. Who's next? Garbalax? Dude, listen. Izumi is cool as a cucumber. She's smart. Dude. She's wise. She's of age. Ooh, She's... that's a good one. That's a good <laughs> one. I like that one. Both of ours of are of age. That's good. She can read cards. Uh oh. Even cards Dude. that don't exist or are just Dude, not written. Huh? Okay, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Okay, you feeling it, dude. I'm she's, feeling it, dude. She's calm, it, collected, it. and sometimes has to make, um, uh, you know, tough decisions, and she's good at it. Yeah, and, the strongest, strongest people at the strongest of wills. I don't remember the Avengers quote. Damn it, and guys, I, I don't think enough. And she's the kind of girl that you could just as easily spend a whole night talking as you would saying not a damn thing. And that's pretty epic. Cool. Hey, um, one thing. She has a Yomu inside of her. How are you going to deal with that? What do you mean? I don't, doesn't concern me one bit. Okay, uh, second question. She can freeze you and kill you. That's fine. Maybe okay, fair she enough. Sometimes you got to feel a little cold. Yeah. What if, if she... what if you want to be warm, but she can only freeze you? Um, well. Hey, bacteria doesn't, uh, bacteria doesn't grow in the cold, so, uh. I never freeze. I'd be clean <laughs> as a good boy. Hey, you know, what's the Yomu with me? What's the, what's, the, what's the Yomu with you? Got him, dude. What a great joke. <laughs> you got Please him. <laughs> good one. <laughs> we, we, we have peaked in this season. Every other episode will never be as funny as that joke. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. I'd like to thank my Patreon. Uh, and by my Patreon, I mean, I don't have Patreon. <laughs> he'd, he'd, li- he'd like to thank his personal uh, private Snapchat. And oh that's it. <laughs> Don't ever say that. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was one of those other Patreon or Snapchat. I, like, I don't do that. Snapchats. I don't do that. Guys, Izzy was pretty okay. But you what know do you who's mean even, okay? You know who's even more okay? Hmm. Her little sister, Mitsuki. Mitsuki's great because she can be mean hmm. and also has cute hair. And is also the president of the literary club, she which is, is huh? yeah, shit. She's and also, she's great, and that's it. And <laughs> she's real cute, and she's also strong as hell. That is true. She's pretty beefy. And her blood yeah. type's A B, so you say Ab. Do we have them? Yeah, dude. I really gotta remember what blood type I am. I really got to find out what blood yeah, type Yeah, I don't remember when mine is, so every time I see, like, oh, blood type, I'm like, I don't know if I'm compatible or not. <laughs> I don't know, guys. <laughs> I just, I don't know. I don't know, guys. God, so much hope we... But, yeah, she's very good. She also likes to eat lollipops, which I do, too. Lollipop, you know what? lollipop, oh, oh lollipop, lolly, 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 lollipop. I feel uncomfortable. Like <laughs> How unpleasant. How unpleasant. But, yes, she's good. And she also has a little baby. She has a little uh, baby pet. Oh, and I'm like, oof. hell yes. Hell yes. What was the baby? What was the little animal's name? What was it like? Ch- no, I was going to say Ch- Chumsky, but that's... Uh... Chumsky, dude. It's Chumsky. Dude, that little rat thing danced. And I was like, dude, what? <laughs> that yeah. little Yaki- rat Yakimo thing. is its name. And you know what Yakimo means in Japanese? Hmm. Is it Rufus the naked mole rat? No, it means possibly? no, it means baked sweet potato. And I'm like, yeah. Ah, and also, round. also, might I add, Mitsuki is Hideo Kojima's favorite waifu. 
Wow, really? Wait, 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 wait. Oh, the- Per the trivia section of the Beyond the Boundary wiki, okay. Mitsuki is Hideo Kojima's favorite waifu. I okay, hold on. I I'm gonna need some source on that. I will I will get I will get you that. a source right now. I do not believe you at all. Ko- there's no way Kojima said that. That's uh, just you're just crazy. There's no source. Yeah. Kojima. Is Hideo I didn't Kojima? know he was such a massive weeb. Who, who got who wrote this wiki? I, I mean, <sighs> The I wiki. Wrote the wiki. You wrote the wiki, so you think that it's when I Kojima's when I looked favorite. up when I looked up Mitsuki, all I found was him visiting Mo Yang. <laughs> Wait, Kojima? Uh. Yeah. What he he visited Mo Yang? Yeah. Dude, is Kojima gonna be in Minecraft? God, I hope so. It was back in 2016. <laughs> this update's gonna take a while. Um, <laughs> but yes, apparently. Hideo Kojima loves Mitsuki, which I, I can you. I can appreciate. Thank you, Wiki. Anyway, can anyone disprove this session? I'm, I'm I've got my fingers at the keyboard, guys. She's a little mean sometimes. I don't know if I can. Pino, aren't you a little mean? mean? Shut up! <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't believe it. No, I have I no don't arguments there. It. She wore sunglasses at one time. That was pretty cool. Sunglasses are pretty cool. I wear sunglasses, so it must mean she's pretty cool, because I'm kind of cool. Hmm. <laughs> Wise words. Yeah. Words to live okay. by. Guys, thank she you. likes Hideo to read. Kojima. I like to read. She does read. She oh, can I can't read. read. I can't read. Uh-oh. Oh, I just learned. It's okay. Oh. Just get hooked on phonics. <laughs> Work for me. <laughs> thank you, everyone, for getting my funny <laughs> hooked on phonics. Work for me, Joe. Uh. Guys, let's talk about Mirai, though. Mirai's so fucking good. She wears mm. glasses. She has pink hair. She's part of a cursed bloodline. I don't know what more you want. She can somewhat sort out a blood. I want her to be alive. I was upset I, that she was I, alive. That's why I think she is alive. I was upset. I want a character... If you're going to kill off a character, you got to have the balls to stick Shut with up, the character Mr. Being dead. Shut up, Mr. Dragon Ball lover. You can't say shit. I cool. can't believe they didn't kill off this character. Now, now make fun of One Piece, please. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be included, okay? <laughs> listen, listen. What up, bitch? Dragon Ball is stupid, so it's fine. <laughs> That's no shut up. This Mariah's is great. This She's is clumsy. Serious business. She's clumsy and likes to be hungry. And me too. I'm always hungry. <sighs> I'm hungry right now. I've added her to my protect list. She is on my protect <laughs> list. That's why I picked her. No, I mean, as in she's protecting me because I can't fight. <laughs> oh, I can't sweep. I gotta I say, <laughs> Blood Sword, pretty gosh darn cool. It's nice yeah, and dude. edgy. That's that's. She didn't abs- lose her way. It's oh, you're right. <laughs> they not, did. They did say I lost my way once, and I lost my mind. Do not stray from the path. Please do not. Please try and attempt to <laughs> remain on the the road ahead of you. <laughs> Thank you, Pino. Very You're cool. Guys, <laughs> if you want to tell us that we're bad, email us at fuckyanimepodcast at gmail.com. But I love Mirai. She's wonderful. But email She's us good. again at fuckyanimepodcast yeah. at gmail.com. We do have some emails. Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, no, boy. Because it's been a while. Whee. Um, I don't know which one email. to start with. When did we last record? We recorded in... We recorded uh, after Christmas. Was, okay. Yeah, it was like so, right at two weeks ago, I think. I, I, know, I know what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> so first <laughs> one. First one. What did we watch anime on? I were watching a crush roll because I pay for it. <laughs> well, I mean, listen. Sometimes things aren't on Crunchyroll. And well, yes, we, of course. When you don't what? watch Crunchyroll... I don't. I can't tell you. Sometimes it's on Funimation. Oh, I mean, I watched this on Crunchyroll. Oh. Yeah, I watched yeah, this I watched, on Crunchyroll. Yeah, this show specifically, I think all of us saw on yeah. Crunchyroll. But if we are not affiliated with our sponsor by Crunchyroll. Well, we could yeah. be though. Please, Crunchyroll, we could please. be. Guys, I like. I got another question. Yeah. Yeah. What's do you guys your... not joke about Garb's love for Chase, Sadie? We do. No, we d- always. We this this opening, camera, sadly, though. sadly, this opening does not have Chase in it, so I can't make fun of it. But last one did, and I wrote, hey, Chase bad, but Chase is bad. 
I can't believe it. This <laughs> guy's <laughs> good. It's not the best. Yeah. So I got, oh, yeah. I got, I got, I got two more. The I first like one. Huh? I like it the same reason I like Shiavase. Shiavase is good, it. though. Don't compare the two. He's a bad boy. Guys, welcome to another segment of Fuck You Pino. Whoa, dude. You can't say that word. Fuck We're you, on Pino. YouTube. This Whoa. is the new, the new show, the official second game show of the podcast where we get sent pictures and I get to tell Pino characteristics about this character and the best part is i'm never wrong and the best part is he's undefeated actually oh, also garb's here <laughs> give me give me give me two seconds because i don't know if we've watched a series with him yet hey well <laughs> and i know because you wouldn't know him if you didn't <laughs> well uh jokes on you i'm quite the anime connoisseur yes. i know exactly he's, what anime is he's undefeated and fuck you pine um, oh yeah, he wasn't he's okay technically he was in this okay First one, this dude has dude. black hair, long black hair. Well, not long black hair, like spiky black hair. Spiky black hair. Spiky black hair. Yeah. Mm. Spiky black spiky hair. Spiky black, black said hair. He was technically in. He's technically in one of the seasons. I'm, I'm checking the website. So I'm looking at my fingers. Um, mm. <laughs> mm. Spiky black mm. hair. Mm. He said a dude. Mm. Is this... Well, is. Uh, See, when he says spiky, it makes me think Dragon Ball, but those guys are blonde sometimes, too. Well, we did watch One Piece episode of East Blue. We did, so and I don't remember any black-haired spiky boys other than Mihawk, but um, who's he didn't take off his guy? hat in that one. <laughs> Faf is it Fafnir? It's not Fafnir. And Fafnir's got long black hair. He says spiky hair. Okay. Well, he said long this black hair, and then he says spiky black hair. Yeah, so... Uh, mm. I, you know, Time's we're running just gonna out. We're gonna, mm. I'm going to say Gohan. No, not Gohan. Fine. Next one. Oh. This character plays volleyball. Mm. Ah, damn. Jeez, it's, it's, it's Haikyuu. <laughs> but what is his but name? It's not the tall-ass one. So... It's, does he, he probably has the white highlight in his, his, his hair. Um, if only I remembered his name. Hmm. Too bad I know hmm. that name. Uh, 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 Ooh, I'm, a, I'm just going to fill up space. Is this the king? No. King knows her? It is not. It is not Oikawa. Sadly, because I love that man so much. This character does not play for Kairosuno. Oh, okay. So it's another spiky hair boy. It's the uh, it's the not bald guy. Um, <laughs> it's the bald guy. It's the guy who's the bald guy's friend. Yeah. Um, he doesn't play for Kairosuno. You act like I know what these teams' names are. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh no! Am I gonna? Am I going to lose? <laughs> no. No, Not impossible. on the first episode of the season. Impossible. <laughs> <laughs> of course not. Never. Um, is, does he wear a red shirt or something? I don't yes, know. he does have yeah, a I shirt. don't know any of those red shirt guys' names. <laughs> it's almost like there's a database of some kind that you could definitely Nonsense. not look at. Cause you uh, I never look. I nev never look. He never okay? freeze. I never look. Is it? Is it Yui? <laughs> no, it's not Yui. Um, this character is holding a cat in this picture. Holding a cat. Mm. Mm. What the? <laughs> cat. Cato. Cato. Meow. Meow. Yeah, meow. It's not the teacher, right? It's not like no, um, it I know his name, teacher. Takeda. No, it is not. Damn. Jeez, what um, is the next, name? the next, uh, the next one is that I didn't post the name of it. Oh, dude, it's Karu from One Piece. <laughs> no, it's not Karu. Oh, is it Karu? Is it, is it, oh, I know, it's Tetsu Ro. Ooh. Kukuro. <laughs> <laughs> from Haikyuu, congratulations, Pino. You continue to be undefeated. No outside help ever. That was, that was tough. I didn't I, like that one. That's why I said, like, technically we've seen him. <laughs> I mean, he showed up like what in a couple like in like uh, one in, episode. <laughs> yeah, like one or two. Yeah. Damn, y'all, y'all really trying to make me lose. Good thing. Um, good thing you're the power you've of never. I good thing I have the Byakugan and I can just <laughs> see everything three sixty degree angles, twenty four pal trigrams palms. The Guys, like in twenty four. Last one, last one, real quick. Who? Oh my god! Is your favorite JoJo character? This my is the last JoJo question. Character. You go first. Guys. Okay, it's Joseph. 
This is hard. Which, which I'm one? kidding, no. Which Joseph? Ah, uh, shoot. Uh, no, I'm kidding. Uh, my favorite character is actually... I very much liked... Um, Damn it! You, can I go last? Yeah, mine's <laughs> mine's either Josuke or Okiyasu because Okiyasu got his oh. cock erased. <laughs> Oi, Josuke! <laughs> I accidentally <laughs> erased my cock again <laughs> using the hand. I think I think I gotta go Jotaro. Basic. Jotaro's pretty good. He's yeah. A good character. Well, because he has so many different outfits and he like changes throughout. He does. Part six, Josuke is Josuke. Can't believe Jotaro. It. But like he's in he's in part four as well, and he's cool there. He's just cool all the time because he's a cool dad. And he was edgy once. Woogie. He's a he's a cool dad. He's not like the regular dad. Yeah, no, he's, he's ex cool edge cool dad. Pino, you have five seconds to figure all out. All right, what I like Young is. Joseph a lot. Young Joseph's um, good. Yeah, <laughs> he's very fun. He was the most. Um, Rambunctious, I believe. Of I, at least in my opinion, he was more. He was such. He was such the contrast to Jonathan that I was just like, I'm in. Yeah, I'm in. That's fair. He he yeeted some guy's finger off in that first episode. I was like, okay, that's <laughs> that, you got me. <laughs> Guys, I also I also love the. I don't even know that woman, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> you idiot! You better come up here, or I will kill this woman. You idiot! I don't even know her. <laughs> you idiot! I don't even know that woman. <laughs> I love so. guys. He's great. Anyway, if you want to email us, also most uh, all those were actually from Sadie. So thank you, Sadie, for emailing. Thank you, Sadie. Uh, You're the best. Email us at fuckyetherpodcast at gmail .com. And now, do we got any miscellaneous? No. Pano, did you look up that voice English? I voice forgot thing? what I was doing. Okay. No, I. I'm Guys, dying. It's good. <laughs> anyway, do you want to get some rankings for the first yeah, episode of season three? Yeah, dude. I got mine. Oh, then go. Go right ahead. straight four out of five. It's good, but there were a couple things that overstayed their welcome, but they weren't enough. They only detracted one single point. The, the things that I did not like only acclimated to that much. And this number means nothing. This uh, really none Rated of these what? none of these numbers no. mean really anything at this point. But if you were to pretend that they did, like they did, four. But they did. It's four. No, I'm gonna believe you. <gasps> I, I I'm also really mad that she didn't permanently die. They, they faked me out a, like twice, and I didn't like that. It was only once. Yeah, I, once is more than enough. I'm gonna punch you. <laughs> Pay Pino. What's your damage? <laughs> so, I very much appreciated what I watched. It was, um, again, something on my bucket list that I wanted to watch for a while. I enjoyed the the majority of the episodes. They were very fun. Again, um, as what Garb said, a, a couple of things did overstay their welcome a little bit, uh, such as some jokes or, um, and even some things that just, um, just why I wanted to know more of, but they didn't, they, they only gave me like a taste, you know? Um... <laughs> Again, everything was beautiful. The OST was gorgeous. Um, I could stare at any of these episodes all day and be like, "Yo, oh, that's a good background image. Yo, that's a good background image. You're right. Dog, that's an awesome background. Bro, that's me uh, every day. <laughs> that's what it's like to live and walk around as Chuck. Mm -hmm. The majority <laughs> of the episodes were great. I enjoyed the I enjoyed the idol episode. It was a nice little... Now that I've, I've seen everything, it was a nice little break mm -hmm. from all the... Um, all the action that then ha did happen, it 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 did feel a bit out of place, but I didn't mind it. Uh, usually, I, I'd be more harsh, but I did like what I saw. Everything I saw, um, again, the humor near the end was a, a little bit rough, especially with um, Mirai finding all the um, the uh, books of uh, <laughs> Aki's uh, number eighty four uh, or <laughs> one hundred and three of just like uh, Judd like rating her glasses and her looks. I was just like, yeah. okay, Aki, you, you know, I, I like I've you. Now I'm just a little creepy. Nah, he's um, but again, uh, their relationship is very cute. I liked all the characters' interactions. Um, I just wish I had more of more information of the spirit warriors and whatnot. Um, but again, self-contained story. I get it. It was good. It was a good complete story, which was nice. Um, I liked the little open-endedness at the end. Four point. Four point two. Oh, 4 .2. nice respectable number. Yeah, 
I enjoyed it a lot. And again, I, I would watch it again, but I need some time. Yeah, no. I it, might need to watch the movie, though, because you told yeah, me there's the movies, a movie. The movie's good as well. Um, I suspect I'm going to like the movie more, but we'll see. It, it takes place after the anime, so oh, we'll oh. see. Um, I just coming right out of the gate, giving it a 4.7. I love this show. It's so good. I There's obviously, there are some things that are rough. The ending's a little bit funky and... Um, things of the sort but overall i just really love it it's a joy to watch every time i've seen it so i think that it's just so good i just love it it's great and i don't know man oh fuck i forgot one thing i'm gonna put it in while i'm reviewing it uh-huh. in episode 11 mm-hmm. when aki's going up to beyond the boundary and the op yeah. plays behind it oh my god that's good oh yeah, yeah that's pretty good it's so good so good. 4.7. I love this show. It's so much fun. I love it. Ah. Yeah, no, it's very good. I want to end up in a positive note, so I'll yeah. reserve my thing. <laughs> no, Pido, stop. No, I okay, okay. My I like the, the I, I again, I like the show a lot. The pacing near the end was a bit Yeah, rushed. it was a bit fast for me though. Yeah. But um I get why. 12 episodes. Um you know, you got to get everything out. Did they adapt the entire? Like, I know it's a light novel. There's, thing? there's three volumes of the light novel. Okay, I okay, think, that, I think that's fair. I think. Yeah, I don't know if I don't know if the third, uh, if the movie um, adapted the um, third light novel, but I'm I can look that up while you're still talking. No, oh, that's fine. Uh, again, it's just the pacing was a bit interesting. I like the I like everything up until uh, the I don't know maybe episode eight ish. Yeah. No, eight nine as for the pacing, and then like ten, eleven, twelve. I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, the pacing's oh. a little bit rough, but I still think it. No, still I think worked, it still yeah. did a, gr- a great job yeah. in what it was trying to do. It's it, hard it for twelve episodes. It was just. Uh, it was a little irritating that there were a couple episodes where not a whole lot happened and then they crammed everything in there at the end but i don't know I'll i have feel to like having it. i feel like having that break is good like give me some breathing room you know give me that one like kind of like character interaction heavy episode that's fair i just like that a lot you know that but all these characters are phenomenal which is which is good it's good to have characters that you can remember and um characters that there weren't too many know, and that was yeah, there good. Too yeah, there wasn't a lot, which was actually really nice as well. You would think that you need like a huge cast, but like you know, uh, very small ensemble I, is yeah. all you need. I definitely prefer fewer characters and just really focus on that yeah. smaller number. Yeah, that was and pretty good. That was pretty good. Hey, Pina. All right. Yeah. What's up? Have you decided what we're gonna watch next time? Uh, I don't know if you've noticed, but I've already changed it. <gasps> oh, fuck. Well, I'm not going to spoil it. I'm going to wait. Ba-bum. Ba-bum. So originally we were going to watch something else, but um, due to me being a fangirling, I mean fanguying, I mean... Girl Just fanning. gushing over... Girl fanning. Um, yeah, maybe Fanny packing? <laughs> I'm not packing the load. No. no! Um, <laughs> don't come to the podcast tomorrow. Uh, no. no. So I originally wanted to watch something, but since the timing uh, for season three was after the date, I was like, you know what? We'll push it back just because we'll push it back because it's not even cold yet. So I've changed it over. We're going to be watching the first season of a certain scientific railgun. <gasps> mostly because this is two reasons. I'm... One, uh, two reasons. One, the third season of the railgun just aired mm. and um, third season of the actually like the original series like this is a spin-off series i'm gonna let you boys know this is a spin-off oh. series of a main one called uh a certain magical index yes okay but since i started watching it uh as railgun like i started with that we're starting with that i thought it was a good way to start we're gonna watch this um i hope you guys have fun it's 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 what's one of my favorite shows i'm, at ex- least, I'm, uh, I'm excited i'm excited we're doing a lot of good shows this season so get hyped yeah i don't remember how many episodes so i'll, I'll get that to you boys later but yeah, um uh this was a good. I like this. This show was great. I I was very surprised. Um, yeah. Beyond the boundary. I didn't make another boundary break joke because I respected the show way too much yeah, to make another a, one. It's a really good show. Like I would highly good. recommend it. And I hate you if you haven't seen the show and you're this far into the yeah. episode. Just yeah, kidding. Go ahead and watch it. Like it's just it's a watch very, it. It's a good yeah. treat. It's, it's a great even treat. even knowing how it happens. Like I think I might have cried more watching it the second time than the first time. Mm-hmm. 
I unfortunately did not cry. Oh, uh, I'm sorry, guys. It's okay. It happens. I Maybe the movie will make me cry. The movie is also very sad. I was too confused I... to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Should I be crying right now? I was like, uh, I, was like I don't know. Uh, but, yeah. Gee, I don't know. Uh, is uh, Kingdom Hearts? <laughs> luckily, um, the person who's now uh, tending to their plants, well, that's Garbalax. Oh, Dang. man. Garb's Mirai. Dude, I'm giving him a big old sip. He's oh, going to grow nice. big and strong. Hell oh. yeah. The person who's now on the 82nd volume of One Piece, well, that's Pino. Is that even real? Yeah, that's the one that just came out with the faces uh, on the side. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> I'm making the face while I'm reading because I just got to the page and guys I am still your president and your oh, loving oh. companion Chuck who, thank you who died and made the funky you so, anime president thank you so much for making me the funky anime president I will do great things for this country in 2020 we're going to release a shirt that says FAP 2020 and everyone will buy this shirt. I know it because I have already bought one. I am and great, and I know these things. I, and we only made one shirt, so that's why everyone bought one. So they sold out. Every single shirt has been bought because there is only a single shirt. Dude, this man never goes back on his word. He was right. I've never lied Dude. a day in my life. Thank you so much for listening to the Funky Anime Podcast. We've been the three Weebros. Make sure to check us out on all of our social media. Support us on Patreon if you really feel like it. It's already like so much if you're listening to us. We yeah, it's, we really it means appreciate so much to us. So thank you so much for listening. We've been the Funky Anime Podcast. Make sure to tell your mom you love her. We'll see y'all next week. Bye. <laughs>